subscribers. I thought I'd try my hand at uh, raising superworms. I have a lot of chickens and they really do love them. So what I did was went ahead and bought about 150 of them first so I can start raising them myself. I went ahead and let's see, bought these little what do you call them? Condiment cups with a lid. And what you do is put one single superworm in each cup, put the lid on, put a couple holes in it so they can breathe, obviously. And I have them all right here. I just did it today. I've got about 50 of them. I've got some more behind me. And if you have to stack them, just make sure you don't cover up the holes for the other ones. They need to breathe. Let me show you my ones behind me. Okay, here are my other ones that I've got. And I will show you what you need to do. You can go ahead and grab your cup. Open up where your mealworms are, carefully. And just kind of dig around. They are kind of a little creepy. And what you want to do is find the biggest ones. Those are the best ones you want. You just pick it up, throw it in there. You put the lid on, poke a little couple holes in there, decent size but not too big so they can't get out. And then put them in another drawer, but make sure it will be dark and warm, not too hot. And they will eventually turn into pupa first, which they take about two to three weeks from superworm to pupate. And from pupa to beetle about two weeks. So when I'm done having them grow into beetles I will make another video and show you that step. So hope you liked my video today. Like, subscribe, share, and I will see you next time. Bye.